In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create a stroke around your type and make the type essentially invisible. So that way you can see through the type, but still have a stroke applied to your typography. And with that, let's get started. Alrighty, let's get started. The first step is I have to add some type. I'm using a picture of San Francisco, so I'm going to then hit the T key for type and type the phrase San Francisco. And I'm going to hit the enter key to lock it in. Now note, if you're using a laptop or a short form keyboard, the command return locks in your type. But since I have a long keyboard that has the enter key in the bottom right hand of the screen, in fact, you know what? Let's pull up my keyboard. So what I'm looking at here is my extended keyboard. There we go. Thanks, Apple, for that. The Enter key is right down here on my long-form keyboard. If I hit that key, or if I do it right here, it locks in my type. In order for me to lock my type down with a non-standard keyboard, like my laptop, I have to hit the Command key and then the Return key, which is the Command plus the Return, and there we go. Just an FYI, a little extra two different shortcuts of locking your type down in Photoshop. And with that, let's just hide the keyboard. There we go. I'm now going to transform Command T, and I'll make my type pretty darn big. Now, do note that if you are using Adobe CC, Adobe Photoshop CC 2019, that the Shift key is no longer needed in order to make the type scale proportionally. Once again, enter key, lock type, and I am good. What I want to do here is I want to essentially get rid of this white type inside the letters, but I want to put a stroke around my type. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first go to the effects down here in the bottom right and choose the stroke option. And from here, I'm presented with a few different options. Now, the one thing the most people don't realize is that there are three ways in which to position your stroke. Outside, inside, and center. I have a rule for type. Whenever or if ever you apply a stroke to it, always, 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 always use the outside. This is the case because on some type, the strokes are what are called tails on type are too thin. And so the inside or the center gets a lot more crowded inside those small areas. I'm using a big what's called sans serif font, and so the inside and center don't matter too much to me, but I still am always setting a rule for myself that whenever I apply a stroke to type, I'm gonna say outside. And with that, I'm gonna say outside. Mine defaulted to four pixels. You can adjust this as you need it, depending upon how it looks. Blend mode normal, no overprint. I'm gonna set my color to white. Now, of course, white on white, it's pretty much hard to see. So the trick is, is that we have to take out the type color, but keep the stroke. The magic happens once we say okay. Well, almost. The real magic happens when I hit the fill down here in the bottom right. I'm going to turn my fill from 100 to 0. And just like that, the fill takes out the color of the type, but still keeps the stroke. Now, for me, that stroke's a little too thin. Let's move it up here a little bit. This is better up here, but if I have my type down below, it's really, really too hard to read. So I'm going to double click on the stroke and bring it back up. Now for me, I might want to then have, looks a little better. Let's go maybe 10 pixels. There we go. Now this type looks pretty good, but note if I go up to like say 20, you can increase and decrease the size of the number by holding the shift key and the up and down arrows to jump by 10 or the up and down arrows to jump by one. Since I want to go to 20, I'm going to put it right there. Now, the type and the stroke looks good, but you can see right here that the type is crashing together. I want to make sure that the F 
and the R are all separated equally as best as possible. I'm going to put my cursor between the two letters and I'm going to click or hold down the option key and hit the right arrow. So it just extends a little bit out. This is what's called the tracking between the letters. So do note if you do have a strong stroke on your type, you might need to what's called track out your type or extend all the letters to a certain extent. If I go back, because what I really want is a thinner weight. So you know what, let me go to 10 once again. 10 worked. I don't care if it's crashing on two letters, but if I went to 20, it was a lot more of a problem. But now, it reads a lot better. And this is how you can create a stroke around transparent type in Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also take a look at a few other videos that we have to offer just for you. Have a fantastic day.